what's up what's up friends welcome back to the canada info hub channel it's me wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba and if this is the first time you are seeing my videos thank you very much subscribe to this channel destroy the like button destroy the like button <laughs> that's what i like to say whatever i talk about um living in canada and life in canada the first thing i'll ask you to do is actually to destroy the like button and subscribe to this channel because it is a one-stop channel concerning immigration and living in canada and i share lots of information that people do not know about that will be beneficial to people who plan to immigrate to canada or who are living in canada and i've been talking about immigration a lot these days so thank you to all of you who participated in the quiz i received lots of emails i saw your comments i've actually sent some messages to some people and i'm expecting them to respond back so that i can announce the winner next in my next video and the reason is this there are some people who have already you know started the process they've already created an express entry profile they have good scores and they just need something to boost their scores so it will be beneficial to people who already have created an express entry profile and if you have not created a profile if you've not even started the process and you got the answers correctly unfortunately i will not be able to select you because it will not be beneficial to you because you've not started anything yet so it will actually benefit someone who really needs like 30 points or maybe an extra 40 points to you know get an invitation to apply that's um it will benefit that person more than someone who has not even started the process at all so for those of you who are notified i notified some people in the comment section especially those who responded earlier um for some people who edited their response i saw your edited response i could not choose you guys i'm sorry about that maybe when i do another giveaway i would put um a good criteria so that everybody can you know listen to it and participate well so if you have seen the notification um please send me um a snapshot of your comprehensive ranking score in the express entry pool and the person with the highest comprehensive ranking score that actually needs some points to get an invitation to apply will be the person that will win the scholarship to study french so please bear with me so good luck to whoever wins the scholarship and um yeah thank you so much for participating in the quiz and if you do not win this time maybe some other time you would win so just keep watching this channel and you will be benefiting something from this channel you see i am very i love to give i love to give if you want to check other people you can check them out but in this channel i give and give and give because i love giving anyway so how are you guys doing i'm sure you're doing great i am doing fantastic i am okay i am super pumped i am super blessed because i want to talk about something very important today as usual it is an immigration topic um it's about saskatchewan i've actually done like two videos about saskatchewan but i think i need to elaborate more on saskatchewan provincial nomination and for me i have done several analysis of the various provincial nomination programs that are currently ongoing and i think saskatchewan stands out saskatchewan seems to be the best for me um and i will give you my reasons why i said saskatchewan seems to be the best provincial nomination program during this covid 19 period number one um it favors a lot of occupations although they have an exclusion list it favors a lot of occupations um professional occupations although um i think about two months ago the draw scores was at um, 78 yeah i think it was 78 or 70 i'm not so sure um that was at the peak of the COVID period so they just wanted to limit the number of people that could get a notification of interest but after that the scores dropped and the last draw score was at 69. it is not like ontario where you have to create an express entry profile and you need to have like 460 range or 470 range to be able to get a notification of interest from ontario provincial nomination program so you don't need a high comprehensive ranking score like ontario you just need to choose 
one of the three categories for the international skilled workers so i'm referring to the one for international skilled workers there are various provincial nomination programs under saskatchewan which i'll talk about in subsequent videos i just want to focus on the one for international skilled worker um, application and they have three categories number one is the um, job offer category the second one is the occupation in demand category and the third one is the express entry category the one for job offer requires a job offer the second one does not require an express entry profile so you can just put in your application expression of interest without having an express entry profile so for people who are not able to get the high scores in the express entry pool they can still you know create an expression of interest under the occupation in demand for saskatchewan then the third one has to do with um express entry so you need to have an express entry profile and you also need to create an expression of interest um under the international skilled workers category now the second reason is this people whose age falls within the range of 35 to 39 and they have the highest clb that clb8 or the highest ielts band score if they have the highest ielts band score they have a master's degree and they also have 10 years work experience they can get 68 points conveniently using the saskatchewan points assessment grid to assess themselves but the thing is with saskatchewan you your occupation most times your occupation has to match your education so if you are an accountant you need to have an accounting degree and even if your age is between 35 to 39 as long as you meet these parameters you'll be able to get a 68 although the minimum cutoff is 60 but from the past draw scores they have been choosing 68 until it went up during the covid during the peak period of covid and it has come down a little bit to 69 but if you check the draw scores you can see that it might likely drop to 68 so if you know you fall within this age bracket you have a very good ielts score and your occupation is not on the exclusion list and your occupation matches your education and you have 10 years work experience you have a master's degree just go ahead and create an expression of interest for saskatchewan provincial nomination and just keep your fingers crossed that your occupation will be drawn you can also compare the knocks that have been drawn for the past three or four draws you know just compare them and see if you can find your occupation in that list if you find your occupation in that list do not waste your time go ahead and create an expression of interest profile um i also want to mention something so i mentioned that there is the first category that requires a job offer guess what one subscriber that i have been communicating with since june 2019 yes since june 2019 he was able to get a job offer from saskatchewan he's an information technology person and he was able to get a job offer from saskatchewan he's not even based in saskatchewan he's outside canada but he was able to get a job offer during this COVID period from saskatchewan so when i tell you guys to revamp your resumes these are the industries that are looking for people i've even gone ahead to even share list of um tech companies in canada please do yourself some good and do not relent when you're searching for jobs some people are saying there are no jobs there are no jobs meanwhile some people are getting jobs anyway that's by the way okay so the third reason is you do not need a relative to be living in saskatchewan to apply yes you do not need a relative if you have a relative fine bonus points for you you get bonus points you are at ease you do not have problems you are your relative should be your sibling your first cousin and they must have been a resident of saskatchewan for like six months to one year they have you know rented an apartment and all that they can provide the necessary documents when they are submit when you are submitting your application and all that so if you don't have a relative you can still meet that score you can still meet 68 69 70 if you do not have a relative but if you have a relative fantastic it's a good thing and i also want to mention one thing you see um i find that there are lots of people who just immigrate to canada without um, the intention of helping family members and i don't know why some people are selfish 
every individual is different i personally am not a selfish person i like people around me i like family around me so if you know any of your relative who is immigrating under the express entry and is looking for a province to land and you know that relative is the only person that can help you immigrate to canada please tell the relative to look for or move to provinces like saskatchewan and manitoba instead of them going to sit in ontario and then you'll be begging them or alberta you know i receive so many emails from people say oh i'm living in ontario i'm living in alberta how do i help my brother to come into canada i'm like you guys saw provinces like saskatchewan you saw provinces like manitoba where you can conveniently help your family members and you carried yourself to go and sit in alberta and ontario and then you're asking how you can help your family member it's not fair it's not fair please if you know any of your sibling any family member any cousin any relative that is relocating to canada and the person is coming under express entry tell the person to actually move to saskatchewan or manitoba for manitoba since last year they've not even given family support um provincial nomination so uh, we don't know we've, we don't have any information yet for manitoba but for saskatchewan I mean you will get enough points if you have a relative living in saskatchewan and the person must have lived there for like six months one year you will get enough points from saskatchewan so if you know anybody tell the person to go to saskatchewan so that they can help your ministry of immigrating to canada <laughs> i want you people to come to canada there's so much hopelessness in africa so come to where you will have hope and you will have a future right right okay so let me continue my video so the fourth reason why i said saskatchewan provincial nomination is the best provincial nomination during this period is because their application fee is very cheap yes very cheap just 350 canadian dollars very very cheap compared to ontario where people want to go and sit down there Ontario is charging 1,500 Canadian dollars for their provincial nomination. Yes, 1,500 to 2,000 dollars for their provincial nomination. That's expensive. That's really expensive. I mean, I don't understand why. So Saskatchewan is very cheap. It's a very, um, how will I put it down? It's a very affordable province. Yes, very, very affordable province. But the only thing is cold. So if you don't like the cold, anyway, just manage. We are... 50 clothes and you will feel warm during winter so saskatchewan is very affordable in terms of their provincial nomination application it's just 350 card and you also need to abide by the rules yes you have to abide by the rules of the provincial nomination if your occupation does not match the your education in most cases in some cases in some occupations they don't look at that criteria but some occupations they actually look at it very well so please read the website thoroughly before you put in your expression of interest these are the reasons why i said saskatchewan has the best provincial nomination program they have a wide range of occupations that they have been given notification of interest uh, people who are matured like 35 to 40 with the highest ielts score and 10 years of work experience and a master's degree and if the occupation matches their education they can still get a notification of interest from saskatchewan even without having a relative if you have a relative it's fine i'm summarizing the points and then application fee is very cheap which is also good and um one thing again although the processing time is quite long compared to ontario where within two months three months you've gotten your nomination for saskatchewan the processing time is very long people who would apply under the occupation in demand stream you have to wait for like 31 weeks yeah i think 31 weeks yeah and then for people who apply for the express entry stream you have to wait for like 28 weeks and another thing too you also need to have your settlement funds ready yes that's very important because i have received emails from people who applied without having their settlement funds in their accounts and they got rejected which is very sad so you need to have your settlement funds at least three months before you get the notification if your settlement funds does not meet three months before you get the notification you might not get the nomination and you must have wasted six months seven months of your time waiting to get a nomination only to discover that you will not be able to get nomination because you do not you did not follow the requirement of keeping your settlement funds 
in your account for at least three months before getting the notification of interest to apply so um these are the very strong reasons why i feel saskatchewan is the best provincial nomination during this period compared to ontario compared to british columbia compared to manitoba compared to any other any other province alberta they've already shot their own uh provincial nomination no pmp for people outside canada saskatchewan and ontario they are the ones giving pnps and i feel saskatchewan is the best for now so this is the information i want to share today thank you so much for watching and subscribe to this channel in my next video i'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway and yeah just stay tuned to this channel just try the like button share this video to your friends and family and stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye